Hello, book foxes. Welcome back to at the Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today we're diving into a classic novel that explores themes of class conflict, friendship, and the struggles of adolescence. The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton. Written by S. E. Hinton and published in 1967, The Outsiders is a seminal work in young adult fiction. The book's setting is a small town in Oklahoma during the 1960s, and it follows the lives of two rival groups, the Greasers and the Sox. The story is narrated by 14-year-old Ponyboy Curtis, a member of the Greasers. Ponyboy lives with his older brothers, Derry and Soda Pop, after their parents' tragic death. Ponyboy's gang includes Johnny Cade, Dallas Dally Winston, 2-Bit Matthews, and Steve Randall. They face constant tension and violent clashes with the Sox, the wealthier group from the west side. Things are rough all over. Ponyboy and Johnny are attacked by a group of Sox, including Bob Sheldon. The Sox, who are the wealthier kids from the west side, have always had a tense relationship with the Greasers, the less privileged kids from the east side. In self-defense, Johnny kills Bob. The boys, fearing the severe consequences of their actions, flee and hide in an abandoned church in Windricksville with the help of their friend Dally. While in hiding, they bond over the novel, Gone with the Wind, and reflect deeply on their lives and the events that have led them to this point. The book becomes a symbol of their dreams and the kind of people they aspire to be. But soon, a fire breaks out in the church, and they heroically rescue a group of children who are trapped inside. The fire spreads quickly and the situation becomes dire. Despite the danger, Ponyboy and Johnny's bravery shines through as they risk their lives to save the kids. Johnny is severely injured in the process, suffering from severe burns and a broken back. Stay gold, Ponyboy, stay gold. These words, spoken by Johnny, are a poignant reminder to Ponyboy to hold on to his innocence and goodness, despite the harsh realities of their world. Back in town, the tension between the Greasers and the Sox escalates, leading to a final rumble. This fight is seen as a way to settle their differences once and for all. The Greasers, driven by a sense of loyalty and the need to defend their honor, prepare for the showdown. The rumble is intense and brutal, but ultimately, the Greasers emerge victorious. However, the victory feels hollow as the news of Johnny's condition reaches them. Johnny succumbs to his injuries, leaving his friends devastated. His final words to Ponyboy, stay gold, emphasize the fleeting nature of innocence and the importance of holding on to one's true self in a world that often seems harsh and unforgiving. The loss of Johnny is a profound moment for Ponyboy and the rest of the Greasers, marking a turning point in their lives and their understanding of what it means to be a hero and a friend. Dally, unable to cope with Johnny's death, commits suicide by cop. His grief and anger consume him, leading to a tragic end. The loss of his closest friend is too much for him to bear, and in his despair, he chooses a path of self-destruction. The police, unaware of his inner turmoil, respond to his actions with fatal force, marking a heartbreaking conclusion to his troubled life. Ponyboy, grappling with grief, eventually finds solace in writing. He pours his emotions and experiences into words, finding a therapeutic release in the process. Through his writing he begins to understand and process the events that have unfolded, gaining a deeper insight into his own feelings and the world around him. The act of writing becomes a lifeline, helping him navigate through the pain and confusion. His story becomes the narrative of The Outsiders. The book captures the struggles, friendships, and conflicts of his life, resonating with readers who see their own experiences reflected in its pages. It becomes a testament to the resilience of youth and the power of storytelling. The publication of his story not only brings him a sense of closure, but also connects him with others who have faced similar challenges. It seemed funny to me that the sunset she saw from her patio and the one I saw from the back steps was the same one. Despite the differences in our lives, there was a shared beauty that connected us. The sunset became a symbol of hope and unity, reminding me that no matter how divided we might feel, there are always common threads that bind us together. Maybe the two different worlds we lived in weren't so different. We all faced struggles, dreams, and fears regardless of our backgrounds. The friendships we formed and the experiences we shared transcended the social barriers that seemed so insurmountable. In the end, we realized that our differences were just surface level and our true connections ran much deeper. We saw the same sunset. This realization brought a sense of peace and understanding, bridging the gap between our worlds. 
It was a reminder that despite everything, we were all part of the same human experience, sharing the same sky and the same moments of beauty. The Outsiders addresses timeless themes such as class conflict, friendship, identity, and the impact of violence. Written by S.E. Hinton, this novel delves deep into the lives of young people navigating a world divided by social and economic barriers. It encourages readers to look beyond superficial differences and understand our common humanity. By portraying characters from different backgrounds, Hinton emphasizes the importance of empathy and understanding in bridging societal divides. The novel's exploration of social inequality and the struggles of adolescence remains relevant today, resonating with readers of all ages. The challenges faced by the characters such as peer pressure, family dynamics, and the quest for self-identity are universal and timeless. We're all we have left. This poignant line from the book underscores the theme of solidarity and the need for mutual support in times of adversity. We ought to be able to stick together against anything. This message of unity and resilience is as powerful today as it was when the book was first published, reminding us of the enduring strength found in community and friendship. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. Hit the like button, share with friends and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Stay gold, book foxes. See you next time.